Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial and thanks for subscribing. Actually this is going to be more of a tip rather than a tutorial maybe. I tried to keep my touch short in general. You'll notice I edit out most of the R and um moments which are just plain irritating. That uh, hopefully makes me sound cool and keeps you guys from getting hot under the collar. I think you may find the following technique useful for certain projects. I thought I'd quickly model a character especially for this tutorial. I'm bored with Suzanne and since we are going to be adding a moustache to this chap I don't think it's appropriate on a monkey let alone a female one. Anyway, um, this is my rough character here and sort of a butler dude. We've unwrapped the UV and roughly textured, texture painted here. The texture mapping was mirrored so I only had to paint one half. You can of course do as you like. Um, Right, now you have realized with texture painting probably that it just looks plain flat. Um, unless you use sculpting maybe or some other technique, it looks as though the image is basically painted on. You don't always want the texture to follow all around the object, for example a moustache on a round head. There will be times when you want to create a quick texture paint that pops out a little away from the object you are painting on. Well, that's what we are going to do now. A quick technique using GIMP or Photoshop, etc. There's our moustache. We're just going to add another texture layer. And um, what I want to do is trace over that existing moustache. But I want to do it on the transparent layer. So let's do that quickly. Okay. Now, yep, it's there. Okay, um, now what I want to do is just use the color picker to choose that color and erase the moustache on the background layer. I'll just do that quickly and then we'll probably need to touch up the mouth quickly using the color picker and that's done there. Right, there is our moustache. Okay. Now um, we'll just touch it up a little bit, make it a bit thicker. That should be fine. Okay. Right now we select filters, light shadow, light and shadow, and drop shadow. This is where the fun happens. I have my settings here. I'm just going to put off the offset X up a bit, um, and voila! Now you can imagine where we're going with this. Right. We'll save this image as Butler 2. Alright, export. It's a PNG, remember, so export it. And um, let's open it up in Blender for the texture, Butler 2. And voila, there is our moustache. And you'll notice that um, because it's mirrored, the uh, um, shadow is the same on both sides and you, you can see that it's obviously looking a lot better than uh, with no drop shadow so this is quite a good effect I think for this kind of uh, character alright now let's see what we can do with the hair um, let's go back to GIMP and fiddle around with the hair okay we'll open another transparent layer and we'll just trace out the hair as we did with the moustache very roughly uh, we can use the bucket tool just to fill in and then we'll need to just touch up those areas there and there great make sure you're on the right uh, layer and delete. Oops, uh, we'll go back to the correct layer in a minute. Ah, okay. I'm just going to increase the size of the brush. All right, there we go. Okay, now let's do the same. Let's have some fun with the drop shadow once again. And voila. Now we'll select all the necessary layers, make them visible and once again save this, at this time as Butler 3 and export All 
Alright, and there's the hair. Um, you can see that it follows the contour nicely, uh, especially um, around the uh, ear as well. You can have fun with the eyebrows, maybe make a bow tie as well. Um, generally, since the shadow is baked, or for want of a better word, it's generally best to make the shadow below since the sun or lighting is usually above and makes more sense to the eye. But there will of course be exceptions. You may also want to adjust the blur uh, opacity depending on the light and so on, blur radius. Um, if you have a, f a spotlight focused but uh, like any technique there are limitations to this but I'm sure you'll find this tip useful for various things in specific projects thanks guys